Good morning, everyone. We've got a quick Alpha 40 update mail day video for you today. Picked up some cards on eBay. These were buy it nows. The, the seller had a really good price on these. So we bought them now. And now you're seeing the video of us opening these cards. Um, did a pre pre opening of these earlier. So this is take number two. But here's the two cards that we picked up from eBay. First card is an Alpha Fireball. These are both in really great shape on, on the eBay. Let's open this here. And we were collecting Alpha Fireballs for our blue-red deck and we're shifting a lot more towards the red side of things, but um, these are two cards that we will definitely need for this deck. Uh, we may not need the Red Blast, but um, I recently picked up a PSA 10 Red Elemental Blast and am able to sell the PSA 9 Red Elemental Blast. So you've seen the PSA 10 Red Elemental Blast opening on the channel. I'll put the link to that video in the description so you can see the PSA 10 opening, and then um, I'll show you the PSA 9 in a second. Um, so real quick, we are, if you recall on the channel, picking up Alpha Fireballs. This one's in near mint condition. Um, centered, typically shifted to the right like most Alpha Fireballs are. Surface is really good. There's a small print dot on the right hand side on the back that you can see, and then there's just a little whitening on the edge, but this is overall a very near mint card. Uh, no inking or anything, so that's perfect. Um, and then the red elemental blast, this is an instant, and that's important, and I'll tell you why in a second. This is also a very near mint card. A um, little nicer than the fireball, but um, counters a blue spell being cast or destroys a blue card in play for one red and it be played at instant speed. That was drawn by Richard Thomas, Mark Tadine drew Fireball. We picked up a few graded Fireballs that you've seen on the channel before. We had a, a PSA 7 Fireball near mint condition. Centered really well. Um, corners, edges, also surface really nice on this PSA 7 Fireball. And then this BGS 7.5 Fireball with some corner wear. And centering issues. So we also picked up one more fireball that's been graded and it's on the way. So when we get that, we'll show you that all three of these, we'll compare all three fireballs for you and um, let you see what the difference is between the grading on three fireballs before we crack them out. Um, we've also made our little fireball calculator to determine how much colorless mana we need to spend to do fireball damage rounded down and around. And then this red elemental blast we picked up in a PSA 10, which means we can um, we can sell our PSA 9. This particular card was signed on the case. We brought it to Gen Con in 2014, and Richard Thomas was was there at a at not a magic booth, but he was with his publishing company. And so I brought a stack of Alpha PSA 9 cards and un, ungraded. Richard Thomas cards and he signed a bunch of cards for me. So I do have a lot of Richard Thomas cards in the collection. And as you can see, it's signed in Sharpie on the case. So if a collector didn't want the card to be signed, it still protects the condition of the card itself. And if they wanted to take it out of the case, they could. If they wanted to remove the signature from the case, they could just wipe it off with rubbing alcohol. But why would you do that? It's a great, hard to find signature on a really looking good looking card. Um, I would say the centering is a little bit shifted to the left on the graded copy. The um, centering might even be a little bit better on the ungraded copy, although the surface and edges does have some whitening on it on ungraded copy. But still, both nice cards, both pickups. This one's available, this PSA 9 is available on eBay if you want to check it out. I'll do a quick like screenshot for the video here. There we are. 
that's pretty good. Fireball, Red Blast. Awesome. Um, if you want to pick up this PSA 9, I'll put that link in the description below as well. Um, we'll sleeve these up for you today. And then the last thing I want to point out is that the rulings on the, on the card text, Red Elemental Blast is an instant, which means you can play it at instant speed to counter a blue spell. You can also destroy a blue card in play at instant speed. So on their end step or your upkeep, you could destroy their copy artifact um, or you could destroy their blue creature that's in play. Um, put this fireball in a sleeve for you. Um, and that's important because there's a blue elemental blast that's also drawn by Richard Thomas. So you can see there's the red and the blue elemental blast. Maybe we'll put uh, this up here like this. Getting artistic with our... Yeah, there we go. Fireball, red blast, blue blast. We could play both of these in our blue, red, alpha 40 deck, but um, I'll point out the difference in a second here. And that is that blue elemental blast is an interrupt instead of a an instant. That was later corrected in beta, and I believe this was upshifted to a instant spell sorcery for one blue. Um, this is the opposite card of red elemental blast. It counters a red spell being cast or destroys a red card in play. But at interrupt speed, you can only play it in response to a red spell being played. So it negates half of the ability where it says destroy a red card in, in play. So you won't be able to cast an interrupt in response to a card that's already been played. So this only works for half of its ability in alpha because we play it as written. Whereas you could play a red elemental blast to counter a blue spell uh, or destroy a blue card in play. And then at which point you, you or your opponent could, pla could play the blue elemental blast to counter the red elemental blast. So if that makes sense, um, let me know in the comments if you played both of those. Uh, it's a little quirky ruling in the alpha format, but uh, it's a lot of fun. We'll add these to the alpha collection and stay tuned for the other PS, I think it's a BGS 7 fireball that's in the way. Um, and then once we get that, we're going to crack those out of the cases and put them in sleeves for you. So that's the video for the day. Thanks everybody for watching and subscribing and liking all the alpha content. We'll catch you in another video.